A man who set up an orphanage in Nepal and travels the world offering drum therapy is in prison in Hawaii, charged with making his own child pornography. It's a shocking case, but the charges could also be thrown out. KITV reporter Daryl Huff has been investigating this case and joins us live now with this story. Daryl? Gary, this case began at Hilo Airport last year in August. Simon Jasper Bacardi was in Hawaii to provide one of his seminars when TSA screeners removed his laptop from his checked suitcase. What looked to them like several photos of nude children fell out, and they called the police. The 36-year-old British citizen was arrested immediately. The FBI later found child porn stills and videos on his laptop, including about 60 prosecutors said were self-produced, showing McCarty having sex with three different prepubescent boys. We've got two of the boys' dorm domes finished. On his MySpace page, McCarty posts videos of the Pegasus Children's Project he founded in Nepal. There is a photo of him surrounded by orphans, although court documents don't say whether orphans were used for pornography. McCarty is also the founder and chief facilitator of a company called Talking Drums, which provides consciousness and team-building corporate seminars using drums and other percussion instruments. He was in Hawaii for a seminar at Mokuleia. Despite the apparently strong evidence, the entire case against McCarty is in jeopardy because the TSA screeners are not supposed to be actively looking for criminal evidence other than weapons or bombs. In McCarty's case, the screener admitted going beyond that by reading some of the material in an envelope in McCarty's luggage before she called her superiors. In a hearing, Judge Michael Seabright said, It's unclear to me if she, the screener, saw nude pictures before or after. She exceeded the scope of her search. This is a hard case, he said. You're not dealing with, like, a gun or drugs, something that's immediately recognizable. My inclination is to suppress this case. If the judge does suppress the case and finds the TSA search was illegal, that means all the evidence, including the videos of McCarty having sex with boys, would be thrown out and could not be used against him. The judge indicated that his ruling, his final ruling, could come out in the next few days. Reporting live, Daryl Huff, KTV4, Island Television News.